Okie dokie, well, hi everybody, and it's cast time once again, and then let me, uh, intro this real quick. This is gonna be Dark Scary Forest, uh, D&D &D Ambience, uh, Fantasy Background, uh, I'll probably explain more on this later, but anyway, um, let me go ahead and get that fired up. And I did forget to do a copy, or I forgot to do a sound check on this, so... I don't know how loud it's going to be. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and leave it at that. Let me go ahead and rewind it back. Start it on over. <sighs> okay, um... Okay, I'm kind of looking at the thumbnail on this. It looks a little wonky. Let me uh, let me try to adjust this. See if I can actually get it to work. Okay, so yeah, it. Yeah, it. I've I've tried doing it like this before, but now the whole uh, the whole bottom part of the. Yeah, it... So, let me, uh... So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with the, uh... The black borders. It just... It makes us look really off. So... But anyway, let me go ahead and move along. Um... So, start with a fairly busy day today. Um, my usual... Uh, with my, uh... My, uh, my... My daily stream... Um, I ended up, uh, I ended up being woke up early because of, uh, they were doing more, uh, they were cutting down more trees and branches and whatnot. They were doing some more pruning around, right by my apartment, so the, the chainsaw noise was waking me up. So, I just went ahead and figured, ah, fuck it, you know, since I can't get back to sleep anyway, I might as well make myself useful. So, it ended up being like a, a 12.30 p.m. stream. Normally, I normally I try to stream around 2:30 p.m. So yeah, I, I basically had to do an early one. Um, but like I've been doing, uh, I started off with Idle Champs. Um, played it for I want to say want to see a couple hours. Um, and then um, uh, then after that, I switched on over to Bloons Tower Defense Six. Um. I think I played. Well, I think I played it for about a, about another hour, hour and a half. Okay, I just remembered. Yeah, um, Idle Champs. I played it for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, Bloons Tower Defense, same thing. Played it for about an hour, hour and a half. And um, throughout this whole time, um, I had a whole bunch of people hanging out in my stream. Just some, uh, a lot of, a lot of my regulars. Um, there was a guy, um. White Women, I think, yeah, that's his name, White Women, um, he's another one of my, one of my longest standing regulars, he, he came back, um, he actually came back sometime, I think it was like yesterday, maybe the day before, but, you know, so, he came back, we caught up, and, um, and he, he came by today, so, um, Crazy FYI was one, uh, White Women just mentioned him, um, a couple new and a, a couple new ones dropped by. I can't remember. I totally forgot the name of one of them. But uh, the other one, uh, his name is Nikki. Nikki with a bunch of numbers at the end. But yeah, he uh, first time visitor. He came by um, while I was playing Bloons Tower Defense Six. Um, so we we were gonna do some uh, do some like co-op maps, but eventually. It just, yeah, it just became me and him. We were just uh, running maps, just the two of us. So, but yeah, overall, um, had a had a good time. Like I said, um, they just bunches of people, uh, bunches of people coming in and out and all that. So, so whole revolving door. Um, to... oh, and um, after that. Um, at some point later, um, 
I did a, I did some Gems of War, uh, but uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do all the PvP that I wanted to this morning. I made a video about it, but uh, it only, I only got about an hour in, so I ended up cutting it off with my uh, my PvP run unfinished. I got like halfway to tier one, so spent the rest of that time getting to tier one. Um, and I don't, I don't see it happening. But, but you never know. I might actually make a video about the. Uh, it's called it's called Journey. Uh, journey mode, I think it is. But uh, there's uh, there's that in Gems of War this week. So I might uh, I might give that a go and possibly make a video about it. But like I said, I'm leaning towards no right now. So just other stuff on my plate at the moment. <sighs> um. Oh, and uh, also, I forgot to mention, um, this cast probably could have gotten off a bit earlier, like, like around 10.30 p.m. I, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of fell behind, um, went out, went out grocery shopping, but just, I decided to shop at Target, uh, a store that's like, like about five or so miles away from where I live, um, just hadn't been there in a long time, and I was getting burnt burning shopping at the normal places I go to so and I had totally also totally forgotten that uh they're um they got a massive highway project going on right by where I live so it was like one lane traffic um I left here probably around 6 15 p.m so kind of a little bit late in the evening but uh apparently it was still busy but like I said it was like single lane traffic most of the way so so yeah, like I said, I walked out the door around 6.15. I think I got back around, I think it was around 7.30, 7.45. So that, that just to that one store alone took me over an hour. Whereas normally, normally a grocery store runs get um, usually, usually take me at least 30, sometimes longer depending on where I have to go. But again, it just, yeah, ba basically caught in traffic. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. So, but um, uh, oh, and that uh, I did manage to play some uh, pinball FX3. Um, luckily I played it, uh, without it crashing, so I got lucky today. Um, but I, I just did the, uh, did the matchup tables. Um, yeah, just the weekly matchup league. Uh, managed to play that long enough to, to stay high up, high enough in the rankings to where I shouldn't fall down, I shouldn't fall down a tier. But, uh, I'll probably still have to play it from time to time. Um... But uh, the way it's looking right now, um, going forward, um, I'll pinball is gonna be pretty much on the back burner until until by some great grand miracle I can get another computer to where uh, I can play uh, I can play pinball without it crashing. But like I said, that's that's probably gonna be a long ways off. So. And then the most I'd probably do on that is just, again, play FX3, do the weekly matchup league, just enough to basically do maintenance, kind of like what I do on Gems of War. Just play it mostly like once a week, and then after that, just play like 15 or so minutes at a time, just doing maintenance. Oh, and, uh, and also, not for very long, but I fired up some Cap Capcom Fighting Collection since uh, Pinball Epic 3 didn't crash. So that typically means that Capcom Fighting Collection won't crash either. So I think I, but I played it for a short time. Um, played, uh, played Vampire Savior, and this time I decided to go ahead and do an online ranked match for the first time. Yeah, that didn't go so well. 
Um, I did did my usual random select, and I think his name's Dimitri. He's basically Count Dracula. Um, a character, a, a character I hardly play, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Well, my opponent was also playing Dracula as well, and he and he knew what he was doing, so I pretty much got steamrolled. I think I did maybe one match and pew, got on out of there. Oh yeah, and that was something else too. On the way, on the way back from Target, that was that was another reason why it uh why the trip took well over an hour. We had a we had to sit and wait about 15 minutes because the way home is um uh, there's a it's blocked by a railroad tracks, and well, train decided to come by. So and uh usually in that situation there, when the um when the railroad crossing the the gates for lack of a better word, come down and ding, 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 and all that. Usually I could take a, if I, usually I could like veer right or take the, uh, take the highway route, take a scenic route around the railroad tracks and I could actually get home faster than, um, uh, than waiting, waiting on the train. But this time around, again, since they're doing, uh, they're doing highway work that way, that scenic route was blocked off. So, so yeah, but I, I forgot to mention that a few minutes ago. So I think next time I do my grocery shopping, I'm keeping it local. At least until I get burned out anyway. God, that still kind of bugs me, that black border. But um, anyway, um, so much more to talk about. For those that don't know, um, this, um, yesterday's cast video ended up being copyright claimed. Um, I had to delete it from YouTube and upload it to Twitch. And then, um, I think I just, um, I just gave the link to, um, to a few of my regulars. So that was all. It wasn't a complete waste of effort. But, uh, but this time around, it happened in the worst way. Um, and I've, I've, I've had this kind of, I've had this kind of things sort of kind of happened before um i'll post up a cast video and then about a day or two later i'll end up getting a takedown notice you know it just to me it was to me it's a little unfair you know i like like uh they need to put in their twitch description you know like hey uh like hey you can't use our you know our music's copyrighted you can't use it you know or you know something like that you know kind of like what um this one channel called Raven's Gold or something like that. They make uh, they play harp music, but yeah, it was right there in the description. Our music's copyrighted. You can't use it. Sorry. But if you go on our Patreon and pay, I think it was either five, seven, or nine dollars a month. There's three different tiers. You can use fifty slash hundred slash hundred fifty of our songs for free. Um, but I mean, still, I mean. I all I almost dickish, but I gotta give it to them. At least they were upfront about it. Well, the the music I used for this cast video came from a channel I talked about this yesterday called Only Jazz and Blues. Um, but apparently they got their music from a company called Epidemic Sound, and I did check. I did remember checking these guys out a long time ago. Um, it's a it's a service where if you pay like a a monthly or annual subscription, you can use all of their music on there for free as long as you're subscribed. Well, I think uh, only Jazz and Blues should have done the same thing. You know, they need to put in their they need to put in their uh their description. Like this music here is it came from Epidemic Sound. Sorry, you can't use it or you can't use it in your videos. But if you pay a subscription to these guys, you can use as much as you want or something like that. So, you know, some kind of warning in here would have been nice. Because, you know, because like, like I said, I mean, I, like I usually like I usually do with all this music, um, I do what I call a copyright check. Like, like uh, first, I'll download the album, just like I did with this, uh, this forest, 
this forest ambience you're hearing, I did exactly that. Um, I downloaded it. Uh, in my case, I, uh, using it's called 4K or 4K downloader. So uh, download it and then re-upload it to YouTube, and then where it gives me the yay or nay whether it's uh it's free to use or not. That's exactly what I did for uh yesterday's cast video, and it all checked out, good to go. In fact, um even even when I uploaded my cast video that had this music on it, it said the same thing. It's there were, there were no issues and it was the green light, good to go. So I did exactly that, and then moments later, copyright claim pops up. So, like I said, to me, to me, that's the worst. That's the worst kind right there. And again, I have had this kind of thing happen a couple times before. You know, it all checks out. It's all good to go. Upload it, and then I get a takedown notice afterwards. Like, no, if you don't want me using your stuff, state it in the description. You know, I mean if. If for some reason it's not if if your music is somehow getting around YouTube's uh, content ID system or content ID software, then put it in the description. So, but on the other hand, too, this I mean this whole debacle, I'm I'm gonna have to just I'm gonna have to just call it a fluke. Cause like I said, I could, I out of all the cast videos, out of all the content I've uploaded that had music on it, I think this is only the third time that it's happened. So most other times, whenever I do copyright checks, it oftentimes tells me if it's copyrighted or not before I publish it or before I upload it. I think mean, back in the day, you never had this option. You had to actually fully upload the video, and then it'll it'll, it'll give you the nay or the yay or nay after it's been uploaded. So, but like I said, sorry, sorry, I'm repeating myself. But like I said, I'm probably gonna should I'm, overall. I'm just going to chalk this up as a fluke. So, but, but again, I mean, if... I'm trying to... Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm just recalling some of the, um... Some of the... There were, there were some, um... Some people were writing this down in their descriptions. Um... Something like... If you don't want me, if you don't want me playing this music in your video, please let me know and I'll take it down or something like that. I'm try I'm right now. I'm trying to make the connection, but for some reason, I think that's kind of relevant. I'm not gonna, I gotta look at something real quick. Okay. Looked like the thumbnail kind of changed, but uh, I'm gonna take another drink. But um, I don't think I'd ever, I don't think I'd ever do it. Um, but um, you know, kind of a just just to toss this out there, maybe I should put in my description. If you don't want me using your music, say so before I upload it. Or no, if you don't want people using your music, say so in the description. I mean, just like like I said about the uh, aforementioned Raven Scold or however you pronounce it. At least he said. I mean. I'm one end. I, I on one end. I want to call the guy an asshole for doing that, but on the other hand, at least he's upfront about it. You know, you can't use my music. So that just you know that saves me a lot of hassle. So I think more channels need to do that. You know, need. But um, and kind of a side note for those that are curious, yes, um, all of my all of my content is Creative Commons content. It's all free to use. So, you know, if somebody wanted to, you know, if somebody wanted to use 
part of my video or something, go for it. You know, if somebody wants to use my video as part of a playlist, I mean, by all means, you know, um, all that, all I ask is what's is exactly what's stated in the uh, in the Creative Commons entry attribution. Just mention where you got it from. But uh, if it um, but when you do that, God, I just I just remember this. If you do do that, and uh, don't you don't have to put the annotation right on your video, because that does become an eyesore. There's been a, I've uh, I've ditched videos because of that. Like some of these people, they will put they will put their source on every single piece of video, every single piece of footage on their video. It just gets annoying after a while. So if somebody so you know. Try to you know try to mention somewhere like maybe in your description that um you're using my video my video or that you're using you're using my video or videos. But uh, if it makes your but you don't have to put it in you don't have to put the source in your video. I mean because especially if it, especially if it makes your video look like ass. Like I said before, I've seen videos where uh they're constantly putting source material where they got that uh, video clip from and whatnot. It gets to be annoying. So. I mean, even the aforementioned uh, Accented Cinema, the channel that I talked about a few days ago, I mean, they do it too, but uh, for some of the, for some of the footage that he has in his videos, he almost needs to. You know, because, I mean, he's a, he's into filmmaking, so he's, I think they're called cinephiles, but so yeah, he's got a lot. He puts up uh, footage from a lot of obscure movies, stuff that I don't think anybody's ever heard before. So yeah, annotations for stuff like that, he, he kind of necessary. Otherwise, nobody would have a clue. He's I mean, he's got like old black and white footage from like old-fashioned movies and whatnot. So yeah, he'll he, you kind of need annotations for stuff like that. So. Anyway, um, as I did, as I didn't seem to pace myself properly on this, as a vi this video's got about 22 minutes, um, next part, I'm gonna have to kind of cut this short, um, but, yeah, I think it was, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I watched a podcast on, um, it was a D&D &D podcast, Dungeons and Dragons, um, it's also one of the reasons why Idol Champs is one of, if not the, if not the favorite uh, Idol game of mine. It just because it got such a such a strong community. Like I think the game devs, they, the, yeah, the game devs, the ones who made the game, they also play it, and I think they also play Dungeons and Dragons as well. So it's a pretty, it's a. I mean, I, and these are and these are the devs too. You know, the game makers. So it ain't, it ain't just, they didn't, they didn't just do what a lot of others do, like hire a community manager and, you know, he's the one who actually does all the game playing and all that, and, you know, he's the one that organizes the community and all that. Nope, not these guys. So. And I, I kind of lost my train of thought. But yeah, like like I said, but uh, a lot of the a lot of the ones that made the game play the game, and they also uh play dungeon they play Dungeons and Dragons too, and they um that's what I was trying to say. They also stream it. A lot of them they actually stream themselves playing the game, and they also stream themselves playing Dungeons and Dragons as well. So. So yeah, but anyway, um, getting back. Getting back to what I was wanting to originally talk about, um, this one podcast I was I was watching, um, they were uh they mentioned uh D and D Beyond, like a lot, like yeah I went on D and D Beyond oh I love D and D Beyond man it's a great place etc etc, so I went on there myself and oh wow okay, so you could um, it's like a D and D database uh you can create your own characters, which is what I did. Just um, 
Um, and created my own account and everything, and um, not a character I'm super serious about. I uh, wouldn't really know where to go or where to start, but yeah, this is the. For those that don't know, this is the character sheet. You know, this is what you create your character on. His name's Bob. Just kind of doing this on a whim. Uh, male, half orc, monk. And Priest of Elmater, um, God of Endurance and Suffering. I, I kind of that concept came from uh, me putting this cast together. Um, just thinking about my work week tomorrow and all that. Usually by the time I by the time the work week ends, I'm so beat up and tore up, I almost. I almost feel like fucking Omater. All that suffering I'm going through. So. But yeah, there's, um. But there's all. There's also forums that you can go on to. The hell? Um, I gotta look at something real quick. Uh. My, uh. My speaker just did something. Hold on. It's fully charged. Okay, that, that was weird. So anyway, um, but yeah, there's um, you can create your own, you can create characters. Um, then there's forums. I haven't really looked into this. Maybe I'll maybe I will after this cast, but I don't know. But anyway, um But um like I guess um I don't think I've really talked about my history with Dungeons and Dragons. Um or lack or lack thereof. Um but I might have said this in one of my other cast videos as well, one of my more recent ones, but uh, I've loved it ever since I was a kid, um, ever since I first heard about it. But my my fascination with it, or yeah, my fascination with it, um, I liked everything about it except the actual playing of it, the the original tabletop. Like I love creating characters, um, I love the dice, I love the stories and all that. Um, and it, you know, it's it was pretty much the uh, the jumping off point for RPGs being my favorite video game genre. But like I said, um, I love everything about it except for the actual playing of it, the the tabletop I'm talking about. Now, now as far as like in video games and stuff, that's how I prefer to play it. You know, uh, back in the '80s, they had a computer game that was based on D and D. I don't know the name of it. They had a, they had Dungeons and Dragons. Can't remember the name of it on regular Nintendo. Played the crap out of it. And then, and then the Aperman, and then um, and then World of Warcraft. Played it for about four and a half years. Um, Final Fantasy fourteen. Played it for at least five years, but um, taking a few, taking a couple hiatuses along the way. Um, for like, playing uh Path of Exile for like nine months, and then. Then the recent one, been on hiatus from it for probably at least a year. But yeah, and there was um, and this is one of those things that I kind of this is I've had this happen before, but it's it was one of the things that kind of inspired me while I was working on putting this cast together, just kind of feeling the need to just added this on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink. But yeah, I've uh, I've tried actually. I've tried actually watching, watching uh, people play D and D. I just, I it goes over my head. I can't really get into it. Um, and then um, back in uh, back in the eighties, like early to mid eighties, there was a, uh, we had a, uh, we actually had a uh, 
some of my class, some of my classmates, some of the uh, kids in the kids at the school I was going to at the time, they were playing D and D during lunch. They playing it during lunch, and all your jocks and bullies and all the other guys are sitting there, you know, laughing at you know, laughing at them from afar, nerds, and all that other stuff. Hell, I know that. I just remember too. There was a uh, one of the school teachers. I think he was a. Uh, I don't know what kind of Christian he was, but he was a pretty die-hard Christian. Um. I don't. I don't know if he act, if he outright banned it in the cafeteria, but I do recall him like actually walking up to probably the dungeon master, the DM, probably telling him how something along the lines of how evil and satanic that D and D was. But I can't remember if they if they packed it up and left or anything like that. But yeah. But again, that that was all. That's also one of the reasons why. That was another reason why I like D and D. Because most people didn't. So, and I'm the kind of person that does not like to follow the herd. So yeah, that that was, that was another thing that added to my love of the. Of, that, that was another thing that added to my love of the game. Most people hated it. So. But I mean, I mean, in, and um, this is especially, it was especially true back in the 80s, you know, back, back around this time, you know, where the line between nerd and, the line between nerd and everybody, you know, the nerds, jocks, um, bullies, etc. The line between the, the factions, for lack of a better word, was much more clearly defined than it is these days. I mean, these days, I mean, your your average jock probably plays, they probably plays World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV, or they're they're playing they're playing an RPG of some kind, not maybe not necessarily. The tabletop version, but they're playing some kind of game that's based on Dungeons and Dragons. So the line between the factions is a lot more blurry in this day and age. So, but like I said, it. I mean, you. Were, I think if you are, if you were into D and D back in the '80s, you really were a rebel. I mean, those to me, those are the real rebels because they were into stuff that nobody else was into. But, anyway, as I've got on almost almost 35 minutes here, so definitely kind of went over long. Uh, and there's still other stuff I got to get taken care of, like getting this video uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff. So, yeah, still going to have a pretty, still going to have a fairly busy night. And then there's that chance of me uh, wanting to make a video or wanting to make a Gems of War video about the journey journey mode or whatever they call it so yeah but otherwise like i said i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off here um but yeah thanks for uh thanks for thanks for tuning in and listening to me everybody i appreciate that oh and um this will be my last cast for the week so my work week has started up so wednesday wednesday thursday and friday um i'll be at work so you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but once, but once again, though, thanks for, thanks. For, so once again, thanks for listening to me, everybody, and I'll see you all Sunday morning. Well, take care. <laughs>